and welcome back to Mad TV's science version of animals. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you many different kinds of animals. We are going to have the amphibians, reptiles, the birds, the mammals, and the fishes. So I hope you enjoy. Now I am in the natural habitat of amphibians. As you can see, there is a salamander right there. Notice the coloring on the salamander and all the frogs around it. They're really brightly colored. So amphibians start out in the water and like frogs, for example, go through a lot of really interesting changes and they lay eggs in the water. And then what happens is the eggs stay in the water and then they hatch into tiny swimming tadpoles. And then the legs start developing and soon enough, the tail is absorbed and they turn into these beautiful frogs. Isn't that amazing? So anyways, back to the salamander. The salamander is quite interesting. It has an interesting way of how it breathes. It develops lungs and it has two upper chambers of the heart called the atrium. And they actually have ventricles and they pump blood out to the lungs and the body. Let's move on to the next one. Now we're in the birds exhibit. Now birds are cool because they have contour feathers. They give shape to the bird's body while the down feathers tend to keep the birds warm. And the birds have lungs and air sac to help them breathe. And the crop is like an internal storage tank and it basically stores food inside the body after you swallow it. And the gizzard squeezes and grinds the partially digested food. And the birds lay eggs. So parent birds actually take care of the babies, like you see this one right here. They take care of the babies until easy enough to fly. And the parents have to keep them warm because they don't start out with down feathers and they're kind of these ugly bald things. <laughs> so let's move on to the next animal, the fishes. Now we're in the natural habitat of the fishes. Fish are vertebrates that live underwater and use fins to move. Fish's respiratory and circulatory systems work together to deliver oxygen to body cells. So basically what happens in the blood vessels and the hearts is that fish have two chambered hearts and oxygen poor blood goes up to the blood vessels and gills and then it becomes into oxygen rich blood and then that goes down to the blood vessels in the body and then it becomes poor again. So fins help the fish move and oh, oh look. Look at the shark. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is actually a shark. And sharks are cartilaginous fishes. And they kind of have, oh, sharks, they have big teeth. This is actually, a partic in particular, a great white shark. So the other kind of fish, as you heard me say that sharks were cartilaginous fishes, other fish are jawless fishes and bony fishes. And jawless fishes, there's only two kinds left, hagfishes and lampreys. Now we're in a reptile exhibit. And I am sitting very carefully on top of this snake because if he strikes, I'm dead. Anyways, reptiles are ectothermic vertebrates that have lungs and scaly skin. And they have kidneys, which are organs that filter waste from the blood. And the kidneys help the snakes and the turtle and many different other kinds of reptiles urinate. 
reptiles uh, lay amniotic eggs. And what used to be reptiles but are now extinct are the dinosaurs. And that's what we're going on next. Now, for a special edition, we are going to the habitat of the dinosaurs many, many million years ago. Dinosaurs are a part of the reptile family. They have scaly skin. These are actually the only reptiles that can walk on their hind legs and then have their front legs just standing up, kind of like hands. Some of them do and some of them don't. Now, the dinosaurs became extinct long, long ago, way before humans arrived, because of the climate change and water was very unavailable. Oh no, For our last segment, the mammals. Now we're at the mammals. Here you can see a white rabbit and an orangutan. Mammals are endothermic vertebrates that have a four-chambered heart and skin covered with fur or hair. Most mammals are born alive and every young mammal is fed with milk produced by organs in its mother's body. Now, most mammals do not lay eggs, but the ones that do are called monotremes, and the, there's only three species of them. Two of them of anteaters, and one, the other is a duck-billed platypus. And the animals that do not lay eggs are called marsupials. Marsupials are pretty much just the same as humans. Humans are all mammals, and... Mammals develop inside its mother's body until the body systems can function independently. And then the mother gives birth to alive. Now, that's about it for our show. Thank you very much and good night.